Undone, the sweater song by Weezer. I didn't write this song. Weezer wrote the song. Rivers Cuomo. Rivers Cuomo wrote this song in sometime in the 90s. It could have, honestly, could have written it in the late 80s and then released it in the 90s. I don't know. I'm not him. It has some interesting chords in it. Or chords, as I like to call them. Because that, look, it's CH. That makes a ch sound. We learned that in like first grade. They're guitar chords, right? Let's get started. The song is not easy, but it's not hard. But if you like don't know how to play guitar, go do a video that teaches you how to play guitar. This one teaches you this song and assumes you already know some of the basics of playing guitar. My name's Stuart. Welcome to Guitar Lessons with Stuart. Put your middle finger on the third fret of the top string. Is that so hard? Just put it right there. Take your pointer finger. Don't put it on the A string, that second string from the top. We're not even gonna use that string right now. Put your pointer finger on the second fret of the third string from the top. Then put your ring finger on the third fret of the G string. That's the third string from the bottom. Look, we've got middle finger up on top, third fret. There it is. Pointer finger skips the A string, goes down to the D string, second fret, ring finger, third fret down on the G string, right there. Do you understand? Good. Take your pick in your right hand, play the top string. Keep this over here. Play the top string. There it is. Then skip the A string completely, go down to the D string and play it. There it is. Then play the next string down, which happens to be the G string. Then now, now you're gonna play the second string from the bottom, which is the open B string. If you played that B string and it sounded like this, guess what? That means your ring finger is getting in the way of that string, and it means you wanna make sure your finger is not laying flat like this. You wanna make sure you're using the tip of it and make sure you're staying away from that B string. If your ring finger tips down onto the B string at all, then you get this instead of this. Big difference. All right, you might, look, I say that like it's simple. That might be tough. You might not be used to using the tip of your finger, so you're just gonna have to practice it. Weird, weird chord, chord. It's a weird guitar chord. It's like, it's like a G6 sharp nine. That's not really what's happening. I think it's really just a G chord and we have these weird passing notes, but if you play it all together, it's a G6 sharp nine. I think that's what it is. Weird chord. So not only do you have to get this hand in this weird position, but then you have to make sure that you're actually plucking the right strings. Tip, here's a life hack on guitar, not a hack at all. It just makes things a little bit easier. Is that a hack? I don't know. I didn't write the book on hash. Hashtag didn't write the book on hacks. Would you please try, try this? You might not like this. This isn't for everybody. What I do, I use these two fingers, my pinky and my ring finger, and I just kind of I kind of grab the bottom string. I don't like wrap my fingers all the way around, but I just kind of get those fingers. See, I'm just kind of pushing on the bottom string there. Now I have this nice anchor for my hand. I can kind of see that. See, I'm just, it's keeping me stable there and it gives me a little bit more security as I'm switching from all the different strings. I'm plucking down on the first note, down on the next note, down on the next note, but then when I get down to the B string, I pluck up. I would like us, you and I, together to play this chord, those four notes, four notes, one, two, three, four, it's four notes. I would like us to play those four notes four times in a row without stopping nice and slow. We're just gonna go bong, bing, ding, bong, bong, ding, bing, bong, one, two, here we go. It's a little bit haunted housey, that first chord. 
Are you emotionally and physically and spiritually prepared to move on to the next chord? Me too. Take your middle finger, this one, and just move it down one string or up one string, depending on how you, down towards the floor, up in pitch, like this. It's on the top string, boom, down to the A string, second string from the top, see that? Now, you are going to play basically the same picking pattern, but now instead of playing the top string, play that second string from the top, like so. Another weird chord. What, you know, I mean, this is, if you just listen to it, it's, cl it's clearly supposed to be a C7 chord, but it, it has a major seven in it. It's weird. It's weird. It's like this little melodic thing. It's pretty, it makes the song unique. I like it. I'm not mad at it. I'm just speaking in an agitated way to make the video more dynamic. We're gonna put the first two chords together. Watch this. First chord, bing, bang. Just move the middle finger. Notice how when I switch from the first chord to the second chord, I only moved my middle finger. The rest of my fingers stayed in the exact same spot. Don't move them at all. One, two, here we go. Did it. Can we do it one more time? A little too slower though. You love it. You love it when we go slower. One, two, three, even slower. We did it. That's my patented move of slowing down in the middle of the count off. I go one, two, three, four. We have, we have one more chord to add for this section of the song. Did you know that I love this song? I love it. It's true. No reason for this to be a part of this video. Me just saying something, making a weird face, and then just waiting. First chord. Second chord. Third chord. Take this one. We're going to call it the C7. It's not quite a C7, but it's basically a C7. We're going to take this chord. We're going to slide it over one, two frets. So now middle finger is on the fifth fret. Pointer finger is on the fourth fret. Ring finger down here on the fifth fret. We're going to play those same four strings. Look at this. Down, 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 up. This, is, this chord makes a little more sense. This is like a D13 chord. Am I right? What do you say we play all four chords in a row, nonstop, all together? One, two, get the first one ready. Then switch. Then slide it over. Watch this. Watch this. Back to the second chord. What I do there after that fifth fret chord? It's basically a D7 bass. Look, look. If we're, let's cut to the chase. These chords have weird names. What are the actual names of the chords though? I'll tell you. I mean, well, okay, uh, uh, not the actual, the, uh, the practical names of the chords. We could get all academic about it and give them all their weird names. Really? We're just playing a G. We're playing a C. We're playing a D. It's G, C, and D, right? Let's be real with each other. Those are the chords we're playing. Just weird versions of them. We're gonna play, ah, okay, anyway, back back to the lecture at hand, lesson at hand, Snoop Dogg. D-O-double-G, Y-I-D-O-double-G, you see. After this one, the D, we're gonna go back to the third fret. And then it starts over. Dare I say, Thus unto we play it thy times do times. Makes sense. One, two, two times all together and then switch. Then switch. Then 
and switch back. Oh, yeah. Then we start it over. Ho! And here we go, C. Up to the D chord. Hey there, guys. Back to the C chord. Oh, yeah. That's the verse. That's the verse of the song. Let's let's make a hypothetical here. Let's hypothetically speaking say that you wanted to play this song, but you wanted to sing along with it, and you're like, "Bro, Stuart, it's kind of tough for me to play these weird chords with this weird picking while singing the song. It's difficult to do." First of all, try it because it's actually not as hard as it seems. But what we can do is play this for the intro. But then when we get to the verse where we actually want to start singing, we can just switch to G, C, D, C. Now they bling blong, bling bling, bling bling, bling blong, bling around, oh, up and down. That's one of the, there's a couple guitars in this song. There's two members of the Weezer that play guitar. There's Rivers, Cuomo, and then uh, the other guy also. Uh, one of them is just strumming these chords, I'm pretty sure, on, a, on acoustic guitar, acoustic guitar even. Somewhere in here, there's an actual guitar lesson and I'm showing, uh, do you want, can I tell you a secret? When I started this video, not even joking, my thought was, you know what? I like this song a lot. It's got an interesting guitar part. It's fun to play. It's got some challenges, but it's but it's not too hard. Let's just have this be a normal, serious guitar lesson video. And then I don't know what happened. And it's like morning time. I'm not even exhausted from a long day. It's just a normal morning. I said, let's do something normal and serious. And then this is what happened. Should we learn the chorus? The chorus? Sounds like a bad word. What do you know about power chords? Do you know how to play a G power chord? Look, put your pointer finger on the third fret of the top string. Then, would you please put your ring finger, the one with the ring on it, on the fifth fret of the second string like that. Got it? Are you doing it? Take your pinky, that's this one, the one with the pinky on it. Put it on the fifth fret of the third string from the top. So now we've got three, five, five. Classic power chord. If you've ever played power chords before, this is one of the ways you can do it. It's a G power chord, a G5 chord. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. Then, here's what's gonna happen. This is a little bit different than some other songs with power chords. Often, if we were gonna switch to a C power chord, we would just take these three fingers, move them all one string down. What Weezer does, this is classic Weezer, you guys. Trademark Weezer. Hashtag classic Weezer. I, look, you've got your G power chord. Take these two fingers, your ring finger and your pinky, move those one string over. So now they're on the middle two strings of the guitar. Take your pointer finger and instead of just playing the third fret on the top string, smash it down so it's playing the third fret on the top two strings. If you want, you can use your middle finger to help smash down there. So now we've got from the top string, we've got third fret, third fret again, fifth fret, fifth fret. And this is like a C power chord in first inversion. It's a C power chord with a low G added onto it. You don't need to know what that means, but if you do, then there's something that you know and you should write a report on it. Look at this. That's our chord. That's our big old powerful C power chord. Powerful power. Uh, look at this. G. Crazy C power chord. Then take this exact shape, this crazy C power chord, and just move it up two frets. And then move it on back two frets. If you want to destroy well, yo, wow. There it is. That, that's the chorus. They just do that a few times.
best singer on the planet. That's the song. I, I feel like this is the weirdest video I've ever recorded. Mm -hmm. 